G'day everyone, VirtualConk85 here, and welcome to the second tutorial of editing Zeus Renewed. Today we are going to be adding in light jitter to torches and glowstones. Uh, basically, this will be adding a bit more dynamic lighting to the otherwise static light that you get from your torches and glowstones. Adds a little bit more of like a pulse or a flicker to it. Uh, I quite like this effect uh, and I still recommend that if you haven't watched the previous tutorial to go do that uh, if not you know I will sort of point out within the uh, tutorial what you can look for to try and follow along because the line numbers will be different if you haven't done the previous tutorials all right so with that let's get started Alright, so first what you'll need to do is download the provided text document that will be in the description of this video. In there we'll have all this extra bit of code that you'll need to get the light jitter to work within Zeus Renewed. Uh, once open, you can then open up Composite 2 because that's the file that we'll be needing to add this uh, feature in. As well as the shader properties. So we can actually add in the extra defines that we'll use to either turn it on or off or change the strength of it and speed. Alright, so with that let's get started. So on line 56 where you've uh, got the water caustics if you've followed my previous tutorial. Uh, otherwise you can just sort of put it underneath any of the other defines. We'll hit enter twice and we're going to copy control C and control V to paste it in. Alright, now once we've done that, we are going to quickly go to our shader properties so we can actually add in the options for all this within the game. Now we're going to put it underneath the screen lighting. Uh, now if you haven't followed my previous video, this is not essential for this code to work. This just adds in the extra abilities to tweak them and turn it on and off within the game itself. You don't actually need it. Okay. So, within here, we're actually, since there's going to be several bits of uh, stuff needed for the light jitter, we're actually going to add in an extra folder within the lighting folder. So at the end of night light, or night eye light, we're going to hit space, and we're going to do the two squared brackets. Within there, we're just going to put in light, oops, sorry, no spaces, so underscore light, light jitter, underscore options okay with that we're going to come down to line 22 hit enter we're going to type in screen dot and just copy and paste that equals and then in here we can start adding in all our defines so light jitter control c make sure you put a space in between them that one space and space. Save that and we'll go back to composite 2 now. Alright, so for here we're going to go to line 290. So we're going to go control G and we're going to put in 290. Go. Which will bring you down to this little section of code here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy. So control C this bit of code. And then we're going to paste it over the top of that one there. Alright, so as I pointed out earlier in the video, if you haven't followed my previous tutorial, there is a thing that you can try and do to follow along, uh, because the line numbers will be different. Uh, so what you could do, if you like, is actually double click on this here. So say if you're back up to the top, you put in your light jitter and defines, you can actually double click that, go control C, then control F, and then control V. This will help you find the line number that you're after and that will find the bit of code that you need. Okay, so if you haven't followed along this, this is a way that you can you know, keep up with us here. Alright, so with that done we can now go save and we can go check it out in Minecraft. Alright, once you're back in Minecraft, you can go into Options, your Video Settings, Shaders, and double click on your edited Zeus Renewed. 
You can go into your shader options and in there you'll have your tutorial options from the previous video. We can go into our lighting and in there you'll have your light jitter options. In here you can turn your light jitter on or off. You can also increase the speed and the strength of it. And with that you'll have light jitter within Minecraft. Uh, you can go in and play with these numbers as you see fit. If you like more light jitter, you can increase the numbers. If you want it more subtle, you can decrease them. And of course, you can come in and turn it off completely. And go back to the original static light that you get from torches. So I hope this video was some uh, use to you. If you haven't already, maybe think about subscribing and make sure to hit the like button if this was of some use to you. And until then, I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.